I'm really excited because I just implemented one of the first integrations into the Oink for Influencers extension. This is for Keepa. This is something that a lot of you guys have requested. I know a lot of you use Keepa for various Amazon product tracking, whether it be price or sales history or whatever the case is. And I've got a new functionality into the extension because, you know, right now we just got past the holiday season and a lot of stuff sold, a lot. And if you're doing product research, some of the sales numbers are going to look really good. Like, wow, that sold 3,000 units last month. But what if you knew that the month before that it only sold 50 and usually it only sold 50? Wouldn't you like to know that? You can't see that with Amazon, but you can see that with Keepa. I'm going to show you exactly how I have implemented this to make sure that whenever you are making your product research decisions, whether it's by purchase or by doing collaboration opportunities, that you're not just looking at the most recent sales data for these products, you're actually looking for at the last 12 months of data. So you can know, is this actually a consistent product or is this just a one-time, one-hit wonder fluke? I'm gonna show you exactly how that works. Now, if you don't already have Keepa or if you do have Keepa, the first thing you're gonna need to do is generate and get your API key. Now, I'm only using the $19 a month plan. It's like one of the basic plans. With that plan, you get an API rate that gives you 60 tokens or 60 requests per minute. And every time that you go through another minute, it refreshes your token. So in other words, if I use one right now, the next minute, it'll refresh that token back. So it has a one token refresh per minute rate. And for me, this has been enough, more than enough to do the product research that I want to do. Some of you might be doing more and you might need to up your plan so you have more a a API requests, more token requests per minute. But for me, so far, 60 has been just fine. Like I said, I think it's like 19 bucks a month. So you're going to open up your Keepa dashboard and you're going to go into, see where it says apps right here, and then you're going to go to Keepa API. So what you're going to want to do is... Um, generate your key the first time and then it's going to put it right here all you have to do is copy that key and then go to either creator connections or your storefront it doesn't matter on the upper right hand corner we're going to go to account and we're going to go to integrations now once this is open you're going to first click the enable keepa you're going to see all this text here that explains exactly what this does there is an affiliate link here if you don't have keepa yet you can click that go and buy it i do get a commission if you do that i think or maybe it's free use i don't know what it is but it's some sort of affiliate thing if you don't want that you can just go directly to keepa and again i'm just using like the 19 dollars a month plan so it's pretty basic um you're going to take your key that you just generated in copy and you're simply going to pop it right in here and click save now remember your extension is completely localized i don't get access to your secret key it stays between you and your computer so only you guys have access or whoever has access to your computer and it's not me so just a heads up on that it is completely localized and safe to paste this in there once you have that done now we're going to get to the fun stuff. So what this new functionality is going to do is it's going to show you the sales history over the course of the last 12 months in a graph. So you can get a feel for its consistency and its overall trends. Multiple ways in the extension that you will find this new opportunity. So let's start first with Creator Connections. If you're doing your product research like I do every single day and you're scrolling and clicking, you're going to find a product that you're interested in. Click the Check Product Opportunities button. And whenever the pop-up appears showing us which products are actually selling, we of course see the sales history by each one of the products but now we have a monthly sold keep a button right here all you gotta do is you're gonna click this and it's going to call that API from Keepa and get the sales history from here. Now, this is a great example because you might look at this and go, wow, it sold 500 in the last month. But whenever you actually look at the history, this thing hasn't sold until the last two months. That's a little bit of a gray area for me because one, it doesn't have any proven consistency as far as its sales record. I'm not as excited about this product, but let me show you another example of why this becomes so helpful. Here's another product. We're gonna do the check. You can see 900 units a sold month. Sound pretty good but what does keep actually say well it's not nearly as good you can see here that obviously we had a christmas boost and so you might look at that and go wow 900 000 units a month but if you look back at it, its normal like record it doesn't do that well so all of a sudden this paints a very different picture of the potential for this product let me actually give you one more that shows you a great opportunity here's another product that we're going to check you can see selling 5,000 units a month that sounds awesome but does it actually stay consistent throughout the year let's see what keepa says it does. This is a great example of when you're looking for products and you're looking for products that consistently sell throughout the year that just aren't quick one hit wonders or flukes. This is a great example because according to Keepa, 5,000 this past month was actually not even the highest. And this is a really popular product all year long. A bunch of you might be going and looking at this right now. But these are a couple of great examples of why knowing the sales history can make or break the decisions whenever you're doing your product research on if you're going to invest in something or if you're going to collaborate on something. 
Let me show you though, it's not just in Creator Connections, this is also in a couple of other places in the extension. You can see down here in the break-even calculator, I have also incorporated here, same thing. All you gotta do is you hit the button and it's gonna load up the Keepa chart. And there's one more place that I put this. Whenever you're searching around, doing your shopping on Amazon or doing your product research, I hope all of you are using this functionality where you can check the pages for products that are on Creator Connections. You're gonna press that button, you're gonna let it find the Creator Connection products on the page. You're gonna see numbers start to appear basically right now. There that goes and so watch this once you have the results this is actually a really good one i've got you got a nice investment opportunity if you haven't done your investment profile make sure you do that too you go to your storefront click the pink account button and go to investment profile create your investment profile there but here's a really good one because look at this this is selling forty thousand units in the last month obviously christmas a big time player here but in this all you have to do is click the keep a button what we're going to see is what does it actually do most of the year and you can see a massive bump <laughs> I mean, that's actually a huge one. But I mean, this still sells really well throughout the year. You're talking about 4,000, 5,000. You can see it really kind of ramped up. So this would still probably be a really good opportunity. But obviously, it's not going to sell 40,000 units a month. You know what? Just for fun, let's do one more here. I'm going to go ahead and click this one. This one is selling 200 units in the last month. What does this usually do? Nothing. It's brand new. And again, this is really important because I've been saying this for weeks that the holiday season can be a trap because you're going to start looking at some of your product research numbers and going, wow, these things sell really well. But when in reality, you don't have any sort of insight, or at least you haven't into how does this actually perform usually throughout the year once we get past the holiday season is this thing going to make me money or is it going to go unavailable because it's a brand new product and that's just what happens a lot of the time now i think it's worth mentioning here that keepa has a lot of different information in it i started with this because i felt like this was the most important and pertinent right now that has the biggest impact because i don't want you guys getting trapped in short-term product research and being stuck long-term with a product that's not gonna make you money throughout the course of the year. This is very applicable to what's happening right this minute. So I felt like this was important to get implemented and put out there for you guys to use. But I know that it has a lot of other information, Keepa does, but I wanna try to walk this line. I'm open to implementing other things and I certainly will, but I wanna make sure not to implement things that ultimately end up being a distraction. And I've said this a lot in the past that there's a lot of data available out there in this ecosystem, whether it's from the seller side or the influencer side, whatever but not all of it matters. It looks good on paper, it's shiny, it's glossy, it's sexy. But as I know who's somebody who is super sexy, that doesn't really matter sometimes. Sometimes it's about what's on the inside. Took a weird turn there. But I don't wanna implement stuff just for the sake of implementing it. I want stuff that actually matters. So I'll be relying on you guys, especially the heavy Keepa users, to give me recommendations and convince me what is it about some of this data that's actually gonna move the needle for you in the Amazon Influencer Program or even as an affiliate. And I'm certainly open to having these conversations, but this felt like something that I needed to implement right now to make sure you guys are making the best decisions possible based off not just the short-term research, but the long-term opportunity there. There's also other integrations like Jungle Scout that I'm gonna be implementing here as well, but I want start with Kiba because it seems like it's the most popular. Let me know how this ends up going for you guys. Really excited about this. this is like the first true integration into the Extension 3 API. This still relies on you having your own Keepa account. You're not using my account. You're not using Oink's account. Uh, it's got to be your own account. That's why you have to have your own account through Keepa to get your own API key. Also, don't share your API key anywhere. Please don't post it in any of the groups. If you post it in one of the groups, take it immediately, re uh, get rid of it create another one it, it's really easy to do that as well but i'm really excited for you guys because this is like the first step it's a huge one because it's going to help you do your product research better but i'm really excited to hear how you're using tools like keepa to make more money in the Amazon Influencer Program. I might have also put this in a couple of other places, the Keep a button in the extension somewhere that I'm not remembering here offhand, but basically anytime you see it, just hit the button and it'll do it for you. If it's, if it's missing from somewhere that it should be, that you want it to count your numbers for you, then um, let me know. Also, I did this one at a time. I didn't want it to do all the products on the page because that's gonna eat up your tokens, right? I only want you checking on products you're actually interested in. We can look later, maybe change this to how that works, but for now, I only wanted, I wanted to conserve your tokens. And again, on my plan, I think it's the $19 a month plan, it's like 60 tokens are available per minute. Every single one that you use, it will refresh one token per minute going forward. So if I use one right now, the next minute, I'll get that token back. If I use 10 right now, the next minute, I'll get one token back. So you can actually run out of tokens. It doesn't charge you if you run out of tokens, it just stops letting you pull the information. So, and remember, this is Keepa data, right? This is not me promising what this data is. This is Keepa, which is obviously a very trusted source, especially for Amazon sellers. So I'm merely just representing for you the trends 
and the uh, data that, that Keep is providing per ASIN. Uh, so again, thank you guys very much. This is something technically available for everybody, not just pro users, um, but most of these features that it's implemented into are for pro users. I think the break the break even extension or break even calculator might be for all users still, but you're still going to have to have a Keep account. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for the support. As always, really excited for this. Let me know how it goes and give me your ideas. I need them for you heavy duty Keep users. We'll see you on the next video. Peace out.